Hi, in this video, we are going to continue our discussion on the types of variables in quantitative research. So again, variables in quantitative research are categorized based on either the level of measurement and or its role in quantitative research. So this time, we are going to talk about the types of variables based on the level of measurement. So the measurement level, also called the scales of measure, gives you an idea of the type of data that you have in your research. This will also help you in uh, choosing the right statistical tool to use um, for the analysis of your data. So level of measurement can be classified into two. We have categorical and continuous measure of variables. So a categorical variable is further categorized into nominal and ordinal levels, while a continuous variable is categorized into either interval or ratio levels. So we uh, really have four types of variables under the level of measurement. So we have categorical, uh, we have nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio um, levels. So a nominal variable is any variable that represents different types of data, which may be divided into groups or categories. So there is no intrinsic order, hence its frequencies can only be counted. So we have no ranking, uh, there's no specific order in this um, in nominal variable. So when we say nominal, it comes from the word name. So parang pangalan lang talaga siya. So we can only count them. Example, race. Um, ethnicity and hair color so we say um, who among the 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 class or the students have uh, black hair so bibilangin mo lang so ten yung my brown hair so ganun lang so uh, frequencies lang talaga so counted names nominal variable well, an ordinal variable, this is any variable that may also be divided into groups or categories, just like the nominal variable, but it has intrinsic order or rank. Its frequencies can be both counted and ranked, in which the distance between the categories is not equivalent. So we don't, uh, we don't consider, so we don't have, um, we don't consider it important, yung uh, distance between the categories. But um, meron tayong ranking, okay? It should be in order. Example, a year, year of graduation. We have brands of bags and food preference. So example, yung pinaka-favorite mo talaga, let's say fried chicken. Your next favorite is adobo. Your next favorite is um, tinolang manok. But you don't... Um, you don't know or you don't consider the distance between gaano mo kalike yung adobo kaysa fried chicken. But your concern is your first favorite is fried chicken and then adobo and then tinolang manok. Okay, so that's the order. Although um, they are also names but there is order in the categories so we call that variable as ordinal variable so it comes from the word order okay ordinal variable next we have the continuous variables so um, internal variable is a variable that has a numerical value so meron na itong uh, numerical value so just like um, unlike nominal and ordinal ordinal variables so categories lang sila no categories and yung ordinal meron siyang ranking but the distance between the ranks are not con is not considered dito naman sa interval um yung distance between them is considered so meron siyang um, it, it can be counted and ranked and the differences between the ranked categories are meaningful meaning it's significant However, in this variable, there is no true zero point. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng no true zero point? Ibig sabihin yung zero na value, um, hindi, siya, hindi siya nangangahulugan na absence of that variable. Okay, example. 
You know that the difference or interval between 25 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius is the same between 10 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius. Diba? The difference between them is 10 degrees Celsius. Ito din 10 degrees Celsius. Okay? So, we have here rankings. Okay? Rankings. However, if you say um, negative 6 degrees Celsius, then that means below freezing point. Um, kapag sinabi mo din na uh, 0 degrees Celsius, it doesn't mean na walang temperature, absence of temperature, but it only means uh, that is really, really cool. That is the freezing point. Okay? That's the freezing freezing point. So, yung 0 degrees Celsius. Meaning, yung 0 value na yun, it's not really the true 0 na absence ng temperature. Right? So, this is interval variable. Another continuous variable is the ratio variable. It is an interval value, but unlike the interval variable, it has a true zero, okay? True zero. It has a numerical value and the meaning which can also be, in, yeah, it can also be counted, ranked, and has a meaningful difference between values. So, eto my, of course, my categories siya. Pwede siyang i-count as frequencies. Pwede rin siyang um, i-rank. May ranking din. At saka, yung difference between the values is meaningful. And unlike the, the interval variable, yung nagpaiba sa kanya is that there is a true zero point in ratio variable. Which means that nothing exists for that variable and that zero simply means none. Okay? So, um, example, a person's weight can be counted, ranked, or you can determine the equivalent distance between a person's weight with another. So, if you say that there is zero kilogram, then there is no weight measured at all, or there is no difference in their weight. So, yung zero kilogram, let's say your, um, you're comparing one's, uh, a, a person's weight with another person's weight. Okay? So, if there is kung zero kilogram, meaning there's no difference. Okay? There's no difference. So, there is a true zero point or there is a true zero value. So, that is ratio variable. Okay? Ratio variable. It is important that as researchers, we are knowledgeable about our variables because research mainly revolves around them, okay? So, we have to know the types of variables that we have in our research. So, let's practice. So, list down as many variables as you can with a given phenomena. Um, climate change, political system in the Philippines, low customer retention. Okay, so uh, let's wrap it up. Variables are anything that can be subject for observation done by the researcher. So, variables vary in terms of their role and level of measurement in the research. So, the level of measurement can be classified as categorical or continuous variable measures. So, in terms of role of variables, uh, we have independent variable, dependent variable, mediating variable, moderating variable, and extraneous variables. Okay, so we have for, um, based on the level of measurement, we have categorical and continuous variables. Under categorical, uh, we have nominal and ordinal. So, sa nominal, categories can be counted. Sa ordinal naman, categories can be counted and can be ranked. The categories can be ranked. Either continuous variable, we have interval and ratio. For interval, ito lahat magagawa natin. So, categories can be counted, categories can be ranked, and uh, there is a meaningful difference between categories. Uh, sa ratio naman, lahat yan nagagawa ng ratio variable. Lahat yan applicable sa ratio variable. And there is a true zero point. Okay? True zero point. Ito yung nagpapaiba ng ratio variable sa interval variable. Kasi sa interval variable, 
maaaring may zero value siya. However, it's not the true zero point. Okay? Dito, true zero meaning yung zero value, it really means that the abs, it really means the absence of that particular variable. 